Uh, Mr. Chairman, I want to draw the attention of the House and the Government of India that uh, the crisis that Manipur has been experiencing for the last 14 months, uh, peace effort has been made and uh, there was an agreement achieved between two communities in the, in the district of Jiribam on 1st August mediated by the security forces. But unfortunately, which is subverted by communal, divisive and sectarian forces, and they started attacking villages and so on. I think the government of India must take stern action against these communal divisive forces which have created havoc in the state for the last 14 months. I would like to remind the government of India and this house that the government of India has a historical, political, moral and legal responsibility to defend Manipur as an entity that existed before the commencement of this constitution as stated in the schedule one of the constitutions. And in fact, in the instrument of accession signed by the Maharaja, the then Maharaja of the state, on 11 August 1947, the defense of the state was handed over to the government of India, and then therefore, the government of India must take stern action against these divisive forces aided by the foreign elements, and we need to take necessary steps to delineate citizens from the non-citizens, because we have foreign elements and illegal immigrants which are creating havoc with these divisive elements within the state. And I appeal to this House as well as the Government of India to make it sure that Article 19 works in the state of Manipur and people have this capacity to move freely on the highways as well as territories within the state of India. It should not be restricted because one belongs to one community or the other. And in the end, I would like to conclude uh, with this remark that you know, the properties of the Internally displaced people must be protected. There have been images of houses being blown up and villages being wiped out in order to subvert the peace process so that once you destroy the villages, you can't go back. This has been happening. I think the government of India must take immediate actions to ensure that the properties of the displaced people are protected in the state of Manipur. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.